March 5th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. <clears throat> it's going to be a long one. Grab a cup of coffee, settle in. Check out my new sculpture I'm going to be doing here pretty quick. I'll put that on my other channel later tomorrow. Let's begin. Earth Changes, Scott.net. Gas companies blame for more than 30 earthquakes in two cities in four days. A rash of earthquakes affecting two small American cities in the past week have baffled geologists. The locals are blaming gas companies. The north central Arkansas, Arkansas city of uh, Greenbrier and Guy have been affected by more than 30 quakes since Sunday, ranging in magnitude from 1.8 to 3.8. And um, geologists are still trying to discover the exact cause of the recent seismic activity, but have identified two possibilities. Uh, the, the quakes are a part of what's now called the Guy Earthquake Swarm, a series of mild earthquakes that have been occurring periodically since 2009. And that's definitely having to do why they uh, shut down the fracking out there. Big chunks of Antarctic ice form beneath glaciers. Now basically they did some um, sonar readings of the glaciers on the continent of Iceland and they've discovered that uh, more of the ice thickness underneath from the melting above and then it goes down and it swells that way. So the ice sheets are younger than they think or it's, it, it's, it's complete opposite of what they thought it was and a new interpretation of Antarctic ice cores. Climate researchers at Alfred um, Wagner Institute of Polar and Marine Research in the AWI expanded a prevalent theory regarding the development of ice ages. The current issue of Journal of, of Nature, three physicists from AWI's working group, Dynamics of the Paleo climate present new calculations to on the connection between natural isolation and long-term changes in global climate activity. Up to now, the presumption was that temperature fluctuations in, Ar in Antarctica, which have been reconstructed over the past million years, are on the basis of ice cores, were triggered by the global effect of climate change in the northern hemisphere. And the story goes on, of course, and of course they made that new thing about the the, the ice isn't what they think it is, or it's not like they're supposed to be, or they thought it was. Uh, and here goes another story, Antarctica is growing from the bottom up. So as this lake melts, it freezes and it swells and, and it lifts it up, so again, it's, it's not as old as they think it is. Rare earth, rare earthquake hits Arkansas, and again, that's from the fracking, whatnot. And uh, there's a lot of, still a lot of stuff going on down there. Dead dolphins hit Panhandle shores, and again, it's a big mystery. Why are all the dolphins dying? Hmm, I wonder, BP. Uh, apparently, they caught some northern lights in Northern Ireland, Aurora Borealis. There's two pages on Earth Changes. Um, Scott.net today. Flooding rains threaten Indiana, United States. <clears throat> Indianapolis, more heavy rain is expected to overspread Indiana on Friday night and into the day on Saturday, heightening the flood threat across the region. Apparently they have several uh, rivers at the brink already. They've been having so much um, severe rain. We've been watching that here in the United States. And uh, big storms expected to roll through. Here in Des Moines, um, we're not supposed to get a lot of anything, really. A uh, little bit of freezing rain, I think we're going to get out of this one. It's all going to be to the south of us. So if you're south of me, all my people, uh, watch out. Here comes another one. Philippines. Three rock fall incidents recorded at Bulazan. Three quakes, three quakes at Mayon. One volcanic earthquake and at least three rockfall incidents were recorded near Restive Bulazan Volcano 
<clears throat> in the last 24 hours, in the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology said on Friday. Mm -hmm. In its 8 a.m. update, uh, they also noted weak steaming activity at the southeast thermal vent. Bulazan volcano status remains at alert level 1. And uh, the activity continues. Heavy rain to pummel tri-state area this weekend. The Ohio Valley is, is set to get hammered with heavy rain again. <clears throat> yeah, they're talking about the Ohio River spilling over its banks. Uh, here we go, flash floods in the Midwest. Big storm coming, big storm coming. And they've got a story on uh, compass direction, true north parting ways. Follow the direction of a compass needle and you will end up at the North Pole, right? Not these days. Uh, the planet's magnetic field is on the move and a normal enough phenomenon, but one that has some rather bizarre implications, such as the needle, the need to renumber airport runways. And uh, I've covered this story already. And it's just how the North Pole is on the move. It's heading towards Siberia. Uh, last we've been able to figure out at 40 kilometers an hour, or uh, a year, <coughs> um, an hour. And of course they've got the North Pole earthquake, the 4.8 that hit up in the North Pole. Um... They're saying here, uh, 4.8 earthquake rattles the far north port at the depth of 10 kilometers uh, north of Severnania Zamla, number 5 grid in yellow on the map of the Arctic Pole. The particular nature of the location of this quake leads to the conclusion that since the magnetic north pole is now racing towards Russia and the earth has been under constant bombardment from the rabbit shear of the solar winds over the last 48 hours and I can contest of the tracking on that um, they've been well in excess of 600 kilometers per second that uh, that is a trembling effect on the magnetic field generation perhaps one and I hear some perhaps so um, <clears throat> I know they did some um, deep sea research down in the Arctic Ocean and there are some very large volcanoes down there. So I don't know if that's uh, volcanic activity or what's going on. That always makes me nervous. Uh, i got a 5.0 in Auckland Island, <clears throat> New Zealand earthquake. The extinction protocol, uh, they've got a story on Iceland's recent bout of tremors. And um, if you've seen the recent flurry of se seismic tremors across Iceland, especially under the volcanic glaciers, we've heard that they may be nothing more than frost quakes. What is perhaps more amusing is how these um, cryo-seismic cryo episodes seem to keep erupting only along the Mar, the magma trench, that is splitting in the country. And I've been watching that, and it's definitely right along... Um, where the Atlantic plate and the European plate are, are coming apart right there in the Atlantic. And of course, Iceland is right there and they're nowhere shy about getting earthquakes at any time, but uh, it's definitely gearing up right there. Or it seems to me anyway. I've been following it for almost a year now. Uh, another story, Kamachka, Russia. Kamachka contains 160 volcanoes, with about 29 of them c currently considered as being active. Uh, there's several volcanoes currently under various watches. The quakes which have been rattled the peninsula were, were a 4.7, a 4.9, followed by a 5.1 and a, a 5.0 and a 5.1. So there seems to be a gradual increase in the intensity and activity. We will continue to monitor this region for possibility of ongoing seismic activity. Now this is the area where the twin volcanoes have been popping off for about a month now. And they've got the story Antarctica ice mass growing up from the top. And over to a disaster alert network. Uh, 
Seven more aftershocks recorded after a 14-hour break in Christchurch. Uh, they're still going on with more and more aftershocks. Uh, they have another story on here about how they've given up on the rescue effort and they've gone to clean up and recovery. Uh, as I reported yesterday, they're still having windstorm problems, blowing all that dust and debris and, and God knows what else into the air. And um, we have flooding in the Hawaiian Islands. Honolulu police closed numerous roads across Oahu because of weather-related issues. Now, they've just been getting pounded with rain for days and days as far as uh, flood advisories on the Hawaiian Islands. <clears throat> this one was bad enough that they actually filled out a report. They usually just say flood advisory. But that's not uncommon for Hawaii to get um, rain either. But anyway, it's late. I'm tired. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.